guys, what's up? It's Mia's here, and today I'm going to be doing another video. Today I'm going to be doing, pay well, I'm going to be painting this wooden block that I just found laying around my house. And this is just going to be decoration, and I thought it would be fun to paint to show you. So, let's get started. So the supplies I'm going to be using is, well, I have this piece of paper behind me, so paper, so it won't get all over my table. And I just have a bowl filled with water. And I have a coaster under it, I showed you that, so I just have my coaster. I have a towel, so like when I dip a paintbrush in, that I can just dry it. Of course, I have like all my paint, and the paint I'm going to be using is Apple Barrel. It's actually a really good paint, and it's only like 50-ish cents for each bottle, and they're amazing. I'm just going to be using a lid of just an old container box. And I'm just going to be, that's my little, little paint palette that I always use. I'm going to be using paint brushes. So these are just some paint brushes that I'm using. Just normal. I just have some unicorn ones. And yeah. So that is all the things I'm going to be using. So let's get started. And also, oh wait, I also used Mod Podge for it. So I already put a layer on it so it wouldn't take forever. And it's already dried, so that's perfect. I'm only going to be, pa be painting one side of it, and I may do another side for another video. So, I am I have all of these blues here. As you can see, they're all different, don't worry. And I'm going to be picking just a deepish blue. So it's going to be, it's called Caribbean. And on the camera, it doesn't look very dark, but it is. So I'm just going to be going to be dipping a little bit in here, just like that, closing it. So I'm going to just start with the layer of that. So I'm just going to be using a pretty okay brush. This is just like, this is just a brush and it's, I mean, it can cover it a lot. So because I don't want to do it too big or else it might run down the sides and that's not good so we're just going to be dipping this brush in water to make it a little moist putting it on this paper towel or not the paper towel just this towel we're going to be dipping in the blue and we're just going to start painting a side sorry if you hear my dog in the background she's in my room where I'm filming okay so we're going to start painting a layer on top of it Just like that. And this paint actually goes on pretty smooth. So I'm just doing a thin layer at first. Because I don't want to like do it too thick or it's going to take forever to dry. So I'm just going to kind of just put it like that. And then I'm going to, then after I'm just going to kind of blow on it a little bit. Sorry if you hear my blows. Okay. I blow it on a little bit and then I'm going to get some more paint and put it right on top so then I'm going to just do that and it dried a little bit so that's why it's like more deeper so you already see it's starting to get better so then I just dip it in water just like that and then I clean my brush so that's good that's a good tip always clean your brush as you can see, I already got paint on me. That's what's going to happen to you. Always want to remember to wash your hands after you paint because your hands could already get pretty dirty. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll see you in the next shot. Bye. I'll see you in three, two, one. Okay, so now it is all dry, which is good. So now we're going to add the, I think the final coat. I don't know. I'll just have to see how it turns out. So I'm just going to pick up this same brush, dip it in the blue, and just paint over it again, and let's see how it looks. It's better when it's dry though, so I would suggest to make it dry. Oh yeah, that is a very thick layer. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry again, so I'll see you in a minute. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're back with our final coat, so this is... We're going to put one last coat. I think that's all we're going to need for the background. And then we can start decorating the first part. So I'm just going to get some more of the Caribbean blue. 
and just put one last Okay, it looks solid blue. I'm gonna put a little more just to make sure. Okay, now I'm gonna come back and it's gonna be dry and then we're gonna start our design. Sorry about these transitions, by the way. Okay, I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so I did my final coat and it's all dry, it's perfect. And now we are going to be starting the actual daisy. So we are going to be doing a stem. So I am going to be choosing between these three greens I think I'll do this crisp green because it is a little deeper and I think it would be better so I'm gonna just put it on my palette I only need a little bit since it's like right there I only need a little bit and I'm gonna just use this angled brush so I'm gonna be like pressing it down like that dip it on water just kind of angle it so it's nice and straight I'm going to dip it into the crisp green and just dab on the bottom so as you can see I did a little dab and I'm just gonna do that all through the top so as you can see I'm just pressing down but I'm gonna leave room for the top I'm gonna leave room for the top of it it's a little crooked, but that's okay. And I'm just going to add some leaves. So I'm just going to angle it. Just like that. And do it on either side. So it's just a little stem. And then I'll just take a little bit more green and put it on the angle. And I'm going to make some grass at the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of do a little line. So it's a little grass and then a stem. So now I'm just going to kind of, you know, wash my brush. And now I'm going to do the middle part of a daisy. So I'm going to just take some yellow, this is called Sunny Day, it's a deep yellow, so it would really stand out. So I'm just going to put that right about here, and like I said, I only need a little bit, that is way too much. Like see that green, I put way too much, I probably shouldn't have done that. But I'm going to use the angled brush again, just going to wet it on my paper, on my towel right here, so it gets that really good angle. And I'm going to be using the corner, so like, I'm going to be dipping it in, so I don't know if you can see it, but I have like yellow on there, and I'm just going to be making a circle, so I'm starting to right now, just going to try to make the best circle I can because, you know, circles are <laughs> almost never perfect, oh wait, you can't see, okay, okay, so, so just like that. I'm just gonna put one more so I can just get those dots out of the way. Okay, that's pretty good. I did get some yellow over here. I'm just wipe that off since it's dry paint. So now here comes the hard part, the white. Now I'm just gonna be using this white. It's just called white, no special name. But I'm I'm gonna be using not a lot of this really but just like a little bit of it so like that's pretty good that's pretty good I'm trying not to waste as much paint as I can so I'm just gonna wet it again make it that at that angle dip it in paint okay and here's how I'm gonna do it I'm I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just gonna angle it right outside so I did one it's looking pretty good to be honest it's like I did one petal but I still have a lot more to go so I don't want to get too excited but all art is always very beautiful okay so I'm doing it slowly but surely okay so the thing is like when you get here the stem part the green is going to show a little bit so at the end when it's dry you might want to put a little bit more white on that part because it is going to show a little green there so let me just like turn it over to the side okay mine's getting a little 
messy, but that's okay. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, now I'm at the green part, so let me just put it on top of it pretty quickly. Because it is still kind of uh, wet. Okay, now I'm just going to put it in the spot that I missed. So it doesn't look as good So right now. But I'm just going to add... I'm just going to, like, I already wetted this. And I'm going to add more yellow in the middle. So I can kind of, like, wipe out those yellow, those white edges also in it. So let me just kind of make... Okay, looks pretty good. I'm just adding a little bit more yellow. Okay, oops, okay. So I'm just gonna get really close up. I don't have a super steady hand, so it's a little bit more harder for me. I'm trying to make this, try to make the circle even. Okay, okay, this isn't bad. So, that is it. So then at the end, of course, I'm going to come back to put on Mod Podge. So I'm just going to leave it here and dry. I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back. And off camera, I did put Mod Podge on. So this is the finished result. So you can just like hang it up, you know, like stand it up. And I'll probably do this side in another video. So... Yeah, and then make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Hopefully you like the video and you can find things to paint at home. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!